The human heart is a hollow pear-shaped muscular organ located between the lungs and the middle of your chest. It is responsible for pumping blood through your body, supplying the cells and tissue with oxygen and nutrients. In order to meet your body's energy demands, your heart must beat more than 100,000 times per day. Like all of the other tissue of the body, your heart also needs oxygen and nutrients in order to function properly. The blood flowing through the heart is traveling too fast for your heart to absorb, so the heart has its own system of vessels called the coronary arteries that supply it with oxygen and nutrients. Inside your heart are four chambers. The upper chambers are called atria. They are very small, holding only about three and a half tablespoons of blood at a time. The lower chambers are called ventricles. They are slightly larger than the atria, holding about a quarter of a cup of blood at a time. It is amazing that these small chambers are responsible for pumping a total 2,000 gallons of blood per day. In the upper part of the right atrium is a small patch of special heart tissue called the sinoatrial node. It is the heart's pacemaker and is responsible for triggering and establishing your heartbeat. This small patch of tissue tells your heart to speed up when you are running or exercising and to slow down when you are sitting or sleeping. Each half of your heart works as a separate circulatory pump. The right side of the heart is responsible for returning the oxygen-poor blood to the lungs to expel carbon dioxide and be reoxygenated. The right chamber of the heart receives blood from the vena cava. The blood is then pushed through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, the blood rushes into the pulmonary artery and into the lungs. The pulmonary artery is the only artery in your body that carries oxygen-poor blood. The left side of your heart receives the newly oxygenated blood from your lungs and pumps it through your entire body. The oxygen-rich blood enters the left atrium through the four pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins are the only veins in your body that carry oxygen-rich blood. From the left atrium, the blood flow to the left ventricle is controlled by the mitral valve. The walls of the left ventricle are three times thicker than the walls of the right ventricle. The thickness of the cardiac muscle gives the left ventricle the power needed to pump the blood through your entire body, from head to toe and back. As your heart contracts, the blood is pushed through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta, your body's largest blood vessel, and is distributed through your body via a network of arteries.